Okay, so this is the Morpheus meeting on Wednesday, August 12th. And yeah, I think that'd be a great way to, to start is to, if you could summarize um, Thursday's decisions and then we can kind of go from there. Okay, so during the Thursday's meeting, we want, well, the two things we decided mainly are uh, documenting the, uh, the skin building, uh, mainly the process of uh, applying the themes and also the tool-based CSS. Um, a tool-based standards for having the layouts and different things. Um, that's the one main thing which we want so that we can standardize all the tool-based uh, CSS and everything. And the second thing is basically importing uh, Bootstrap uh, into Morpheus so that we can use the default Bootstrap layouts uh, without having our own uh, layouts, but not directly using them. We could extend them and then we could uh, start using them in, inside our tools. Um, so that's uh, those are the main two things which we decided. And uh, uh, beyond that, we also plan to have a small um, theming uh, kind of competition. But yeah, the, that's one thing which we want to have, come up with a new colors and new theme for our default Sakai instance. So those are the three things which we actually decided on. Okay, the cool. Last yeah. cool. I have I have some comments, but first, curious if there's any questions. Okay. So um, so first of all, Ude, I'm wondering, um, do you have like a timeline of when the documentation piece is uh, likely to be done? Um, not at this moment. Um, uh, but are you looking at any specific timeline? Um, so the breaking news this morning from Jeff, who's I see is on the call, is that um, it looks like that um, the Gradebook uh, Next Generation Gradebook NG is going to be uh, merged into Trunk probably the end of next week. Um, there's okay. also work going on in Lessons um, to add new columns. There's some new development going on as well, but I expect that would be a few weeks. Um, so we're if we once we get Gradebook NG in there, I think then we're going to. We might want to think about doing a really big push and um, think about, you know, what that push is. Is the first push QA? Is it um, that documentation so we can start getting other tools aligned with um, Morpheus and, and that type of thing? Okay. Um, so one more big news from my side is basically um, I am leaving Marist uh, in September, end of September. Mm-hmm. Wow. So I'm in this transition starting today, but mostly. Um, so I will be uh, working, obviously, but uh, um, I don't know how much I will be putting time in this, but I definitely want to. Uh, yeah, so I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, I really hope if uh, <laughs> uh, someone from Mercy can uh, start working on the documentation, uh, if it is the urgent thing, but I'm not sure if anyone is free for now and i know that uh, eduardo is not back until 31st which is right. a couple of weeks for, for now so right. um uh, i can't promise anything on that for now that so because uh, i have a lot of things to actually wrap up here before i leave so sure that's, uh, that's on my side <laughs> sure. uh, and also beyond uh, after moving from marist to uh, I'm not quite sure how much I will be, but I will be definitely involved uh, with Morpheus, uh, basically using my spare time and all the off, time, off office work hours. But um, yeah, I will not be available for these meetings because it's a work, work hours, right? Sure. Uh, until unless my new boss is okay with one hour a week call with you guys. So, um, but yeah, um, so yeah, that's that's my side thing. Well, congratulations on whatever uh, move you uh, made. Are you going to uh, still be in higher ed? Are you going to be in private sector? What's your... Uh... Uh, congr thank you first. But yeah, no, I'm not going to higher ed. I'm going to, uh, to Deloitte, um, out of based of uh, the multiple places, but I'm moving to Orlando. Wow. Whoa. Um, yeah. 
So you so you're working at Disney World is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. he said Deloitte, yeah. which is exactly Disney World. Yeah, you can you can have anything. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, be- believe me, there are a lot of characters at Deloitte. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's funny. So, uh, so I'm curious, uh, Uday has, um, cause I haven't, you know, is there, uh, folks at Marist we should be t- speaking to, to see if there will be anyone who can kind of, I mean, fill in your role, obviously they wouldn't have your experience, but, um, you know, do you know if there's any plans to sort of backfill the kinds of things you're doing or is that something, you know? Yes, I think they have plans, but, uh, at this moment, uh, as, as I said, I just announced it today to the okay. year so. Uh, okay. But there, there will be definitely a replacement. I, I'm, I'm not sure if that would happen before I leave, but um, they're definitely looking for that. Um, okay. Um, so, yeah. Congratulations, Uday. That's a, Deloitte's a great company. So. Yeah. So thank great. you. Uh, the main reason is my wife is working there in the same company in the same location. So that, mm-hmm. that's the main thing which I actually made the decision for. Right. So, so you know, you'll get along with some of the coworkers. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. Congratulations. I will tot- we'll miss you quite a bit. Um, I'm glad that you'll, uh, you know, make an effort to be part of the community. I know that if you're, you know, doing a move, that's a huge thing to do a move and then starting a new job is also a huge thing. So, uh, you know, we won't have any expectations of, you know, any demands on your time or anything like that. But it's it's great that you're at least thinking about that at some point, you know, you'll try and help uh, keep Morpheus going. That would be that would be awesome if you're able to do that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I I like to work on this. Like I, uh, I definitely will be. Um, yeah, I don't know how. That's what I said. I don't know how much I will be, but I definitely will be. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I understand. I understand how difficult it could be to anticipate how much time you'll actually have when you've got yeah. so much on your plate just to do that transition. That's that's a huge transition. Moving to a new place mm-hmm. and to a new job. That's that's you know huge. Yep. So. Well, thank you for letting us know that. That's really, you know, good information for for us to have. And yeah, yeah the the folks in um, Marist are um, on, uh, I think, like forced vacation or something. Like this is a time of year when they're all forced to take several weeks off. I think. So okay. I don't think any of them are around <laughs> for a few weeks. Um, so okay, we won't be able yeah. to tell. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure what I was what I was thinking about doing, but I think given where you are, Uday. Um, I'm not sure if it really makes sense is to uh, look at like the JIRAs, um, you know, the Morpheus tag JIRAs and kind of see how many JIRAs there are out there and, um, you know, where we would get attention for those JIRAs and that sort of thing to start making some progress on that. But I'm not sure if that makes sense or not. What do, yeah. what do you all think? Yeah. I think that's a good idea for now. We'll start working on zeros as much as can. Uh, okay. Um, I am creating a really quick filter here uh, so we can take a look at the Jira issues. Um, category equals the labels equal Morpheus and status. Let's have a query here in just a second. Uh, also, just to mention, um, for now, if we have, uh, if you want to write the documentation for standardizing the namespaces for the Morpheus tools, mm-hmm. uh, we have to define these rules first uh, in the Morpheus. Um, so I may actually start working on that uh, whenever I get to the next uh, few days um, so that we can start working on that. And then once we have that, the documenting is pretty simple. We'll just come up with a list of the namespaces of how to actually use this thing. Um, so I'll see what I can do. And uh, by the time, if I can do this before uh, uh, 31st, and then if uh, Edward or someone from Mercia come back, then it shouldn't be that problem. So they can just write documentation. Uh, and they pretty much know everything. Uh, okay. So yeah, I, I, I'll let you guys know what what I what I do. And anyhow, we have a weekly call. Uh, I'll be available in this call till September end. Uh, at least so. Cool. Um, 
So here's a filter I just created. I don't know if there was an existing filter, but the filter I pasted in the chat window um, is a list of all the um, issues in Sakai with the label Morpheus and have not been uh, resolved. And so there's 23 issues in there and they are ordered from the current priority level of kind of the highest level is critical, which mean, which is really good because I think there was like a couple of blocker issues. So I guess they got addressed. Um, and uh, so maybe we could just like take a look at these and make sure that the priority is set at the right level for these kinds of things. And also I'm curious if you all think it's almost time to start around the QA uh, testing on Trunk uh, or if we should wait a little bit. So I kind of have mixed feelings about it because um, on the one hand, there's, of course, Morpheus is pretty far along. So testing a lot of tools would be great. Of course, we don't have great book NG unless this is under product progress. So we wouldn't be able to test those specific tools, but we still might find, you know, some other issues. So any help in thinking that through would, would also be, um, could be also be a useful conversation. So just kind of going down the list uh, here from the top one, um, Samago 2042. Mm-hmm. Um, so IE accessibility loses, IE loses focus when navigating between screens using the keyboard. So it's listed as a critical issue. Does that seem about right? Yeah, accessibility, yeah. 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 accessibility is definitely important, yeah. Um, I notice it's IE9 though. I wonder if it's fixed on IE10. Oh, IE9. And, yeah, yeah. And IE9 is starting to get old. Um, yeah, I should probably test that, yeah. 10 and 11, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We just don't have the bandwidth in the community to, you know, support browsers going way, way back. We dropped, you know, IE6 a while ago. We dropped, I think, IE7 and IE8. I'm not sure if we're still even uh, um, supporting IE9 or not. Um, so that probably needs a little, little investigation there. Yep. Let me put a comment on here. Does it say anything about IE10 or on here or 11? Oh, it says, uh, yeah, it looks like on March 5th, Michael Brousseau put in this is still the behavior for Sakai 2.9 and IE11 and IE10. So sounds like that's still an issue. The next, the next one is uh, Samago 25.48. And uh, so I'll post that here. Yeah, that definitely looks broken. Errant calendar below footer on settings. So I, I, I categorize that as major. So one of the things in terms of categorizing for Sakai 11, I think what we, uh, we are doing at this point is anything we really don't want to release Sakai 11 with um, we should make a blocker to make sure it gets highlighted. You know, as we get closer to an actual mm -hmm. release, we can always recategorize things and push them down to critical or major, you know, but if we really want to shoot for, uh, we don't want to release Sakai 11 with this bug, then we, you know, we make those things blocker. So this one I opened as a major. I don't know if that's the right level or if we should make that a blocker or critical. I think it's a blocker because it's not making it to work. So if you see the image, the calendar is in below the footer, which is not good. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, I think it should be a blocker, yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks. So then um, the next one is Samago 2543, which is error not showing on blank assessment name. Let's see. So I think I didn't, wasn't aware of whether this one, um, you know, actually is Morpheus related or not. Oh, the, yeah, let's, yeah, I don't know. Um. Yeah, 
Yeah, it looks somewhat related to the even from a functionality of the assessments and um, I don't know. Yeah, we had to see more um, because I think you mentioned in that video you have like, extra options when you click create uh, without the title. Um, I don't know why they appear after create button. It, um, Okay, well, we come uh, come back to that. Uh, it sounds like that could use a little more uh, testing. And I don't think that, I don't know if that would be a blocker. I mean, uh, it's hard to tell. Yeah, yeah, it's, I think major should be fine for that okay. now because I don't actually understand that very correctly. All right. Um, the next one is uh, SAM Samago 2606. Yes. I don't understand exactly, but did you open the uh, any of the screenshots? Um, those are HTMLs or images. I don't understand what they're it actually is. PNGs. Um, oh, for okay. some reason, I guess maybe I uploaded them the wrong way. They're not. If you download them and open them, they'll open as PNGs. Okay. I guess I have to re-upload them a better way. Yep. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I see that now. Yeah. So is that only happening in uh, that tool? Then it, yeah, we have to see if that's a tool specific thing or uh, is the regular every tool or not? Uh, yeah. I, Alexander, some ego. Okay. Okay, I'll look uh, and see if it's happening in other tools. That's the one I noticed it and so I'm guessing it was just same ago so it might just be tool specific yeah if it is yeah I think it's under semi go so it should be fine I mean if you tag this more label this more it should be fine that was okay yeah, Okay, the next one is SAK29414. Um, I don't know how much relevant is this, but I think we made it 100%, um, but I still have to verify it. Maybe this is... What does this really mean? The single width tool pages are too narrow. Um, like the, if you have only one tool in that tool uh, section, uh, uh -huh. the is only set to the max 990 pixels, and I think I removed that option in the previous bug fixes, uh, along with the changes we are making. Uh, oh, okay. Let me quickly go in and verify that. All right. So this one might get resolved. Yeah, or... that's what I believe. Uh, main reason uh, I can just mention because if you remember the background is white in that one um, so the background white is basically merging these two and when we made it darker background I just maximized the whole width of the tool so that it they are filled 100% um, but it used to be 990 pixels before the change 
um, and I think it's solved now. Let me go back now. Yep, okay. uh, it's, it, it should be resolved, but yeah, just try it. Okay, so this one is probably resolved. Do you have a, a ticket it's related to, or it was one of those things where you were just doing um, a batch of updates, they weren't related yes, to Jira's? One, yeah, yeah, one of the yeah, batch updates uh, with the discussions we had. This would be probably making the first uh, change where transforming the colors uh, from the different background and uh, making the tools whiter. Uh, so. Okay. All right, yeah. cool. <clears throat> so, a comment on there. So, quick question because that one they're saying, I mean, I think what Steve is saying is right, right? I mean, you're gonna remove that limit, right? So you mean, do you, you want the limit? Or we, there is no limit now, that's what- uh, Oh yeah, that. no, that's what I'm saying, remove the limit, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we remove the limit, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, that's cool, already cool. Done yeah. That now. So I, I opened that one from waiting review and I put a comment in it that this is probably resolved and please retest it. Um, but also remember, since, reminds me, since colors came up, I wanted to mention that um, we're going to do a color scheme contest, and um, uh, Earl and me and Didi are like a mini committee to set that up, and I also had input from the accessibility group on, you know, accessibility standards for, um, for color uh, mm -hmm. contrast so that we can include that in the contest, and then I think we're going to announce that at the Sakai Virtual Conference. So. Um, Dr. Chuck has agreed to be one of the judges, but we probably need, he said he's terrible at being a judge. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but, um, you know, so we might, so, you know, so we're going to start down that path. I just thought I'd mention that. If anyone wants to be involved or has ideas, uh, you know, please let us know. So, um, so moving on, gradebook uh, SAK29374. Gradebook date picker is broken. Um, maybe this one is also fixed, but uh, I wonder if that okay. how that affects it's Gradebook not, NG. Uh, it's not. I think it's still a bug. Is this a? Is this? Would this be a blocker level? Yeah. 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 It sounds yeah. like a blocker. So we make this a blocker level. I, d I don't think it'll affect Gradebook NG, um, but but just a reminder for folks. Uh, actually, there aren't that many folks on, but um, so what we what we'd like to do is make Gradebook NG the default, but still have the current Gradebook in there. So they both need they both need attention. That's going to be tricky. We need yeah. That's a good good thing that you're bringing that up because we're going to have to figure out how to manage um, QA around that. Yeah, well, the, I mean, the team here, we can definitely pitch in a lot on okay. NG. I mean, the fact that Steve opened up this date picker issue, oh, um, and it's with the grade book, I'm assuming, I mean, I would assume from this context that um, he's using the, the def, you know, the generic the jQuery date picker that's like the standard date picker now in Sakai. Mm. I'm gonna put okay. a little comment in asking if it's affecting both gradebook and gradebook ng. Gotcha. Okay. I made it the blocker. Okay. Uh, the next one and is probably Neil, you should probably, you know, I mean, obviously it's too early just yet, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to um, set up a new component for the Gradebook NG coming up. Oh, that's a good idea. That should. And I would, different. yeah, I, I would just call it Gradebook NG. That way it's informative and. Okay. New component. I'm glad you you named it uh, Great Book NG, uh, uh, Jeff, because that still gives me a chance to to make puns off it. You know, so thank you. <laughs> That's great. It also satisfies any Star Trek fans out there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, huge constitu important constituents, <laughs> pun, pun makers, and Star Trek fans. Right. Of our largest uh, audiences. 
Right. If you if you do a Venn diagram of those people, they really overlap a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. So the next thing is SAK uh, two nine one seven zero error view needs updating for Morpheus. That's listed as a portal thing. Oh, that's a great book NG one. Oh, uh, it's a great book NG thing. Yeah. Um, so when it says error view, I guess he means like mapping when there are particular errors that occur instead of having unexpected runtime exception actually giving a user friendly message. Is that how you would interpret that? Yeah, I think the left navigation is basically squished up uh, when the error is throwing and the error is stored now. Uh, um, I don't know if since then we changed the left nav, uh, but we'd still have to test it. Uh, so it's probably waiting for evaluation. On them. Okay, that looks like probably a blocker level, right? Or like we wouldn't yeah. want to release with that because that would look pretty pretty ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, next one. Page and tool view are not displaying correctly in portal with Morpheus, uh, SAK29122. Uh, even this should be fixed now because it's March, it's March is basically it's too old. Okay. Uh, I'll make a note on here. Please retest, this should be fixed. It's marked as fixed already. Um, SAK oh, 29122. Sorry. No, I'm looking at 112. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Just so you know, that one's a Morpheus one, too. <laughs> okay. But it is fixed. Okay. Um, let's see. So next one is uh, SAK 28099. I think it's yeah. fixed too because they have we have already a bunch of uh, commits for this. Oh one. right, I see that. Yeah, there's a bunch of commits, so this one should be probably set as resolved. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next one is, uh, let's see, SAK29218. Some styles has f have far too much white space under Morpheus. I would say it's a same thing, uh, probably fixed, uh, but let me quickly check this one. Uh, it's users, right? Okay. okay. Um, yeah, I think it's fixed. Okay. The tables uh, have a different CSS back then. It's um, yeah, yeah. I think it's so. Some of them are mostly during March period. It's drastically different since March. Um, yeah, I think it's almost fixed. Okay. Cool. I'll make a comment on that. Um, the next one is SAK29739. Let's paste that in. Um, insufficient padding margin around block level comments. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I, 
maybe it is fixed. I, it's really hard to understand. Mm. So uh, um, how much is expected? That's a good thing I uh, hear. Um, yeah, you know, this, this might be one of those like, I mean, I, I mean, like one of those things like where, you know, if you did the bootstrap, you know, if we've mapped stuff to the bootstrap, you know, styles, yeah. then this would not be an issue, right? I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. So that you know, I, I don't know if it's still an issue. That's probably what's what just needs to be checked on. I think is all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think we can leave it as a major for now and see uh, review it exactly what uh, we can do on that, or maybe just concentrate on specific things. Does anyone put a comment in there? So I have, um, I have a just a general question because okay. I don't, you know, I don't know this, but like, uh, how much, how much are styles from Bootstrap are mapped using more? I, I would say none for now. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I think everything is yeah, custom built for our everything. Sakai. Uh, okay. But yeah, the, that's the next thing which we plan to do: start using more uh, okay. uh, Basically, for layouts, uh, I would say for the um, for the sizing and then the layouts majorly. Uh, once we start using that, right. then we can define anything. Right, because once you start using that, and once you start using like so, like once you start using the bootstrap styles, right, and then. Um, obviously, you know, your button styles are going to be updated and all that. It'll look all much, it'll all look a little different, right? And, mm -hmm. Yep. Right. Okay. So I, I would, I would kind of, I, I would say that this issue is wrapped into that larger issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's yep. like a sub issue of that one. Yep. Well, I don't know if there is that other issue out there. Um, uh, other Jira I, created. I don't think so. That might be a good idea, Neil, to create that other Jira, and then I would link this one to that. Would you mind doing that? Since I'm not sure I have a grasp on what you're discussing. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I don't know if I'm the right one to do it because I I uh, understand it less. No, I, I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Uday. Better. Yeah. Problem. Thanks. Uday would be a good one to do it, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I don't want to open a ticket and say, uh, you know, ticket title is, I was told we should open a Jira. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think my my comment was more of just, I think this is what just needs to happen. Okay. That's all. Mm. You know. Okay, can we move on? Shall we move on? I think so. Do you need a minute to are you creating the uh, Jira right now, Uday, or because if yeah, you are, yeah, give I'll you a second. Now, but you can, you can go ahead. Okay. All right. Uh the next one's two nine six four nine. And um, that is adjust positioning of password strength message on new account page. Minor adjustment strength info message is misaligned by about point five. Similar to that last one. Mm. It doesn't sound like a blocker level type thing. It sounds no. like a major sounds about right. No, and it's a style issue. Yeah. I mean, some style issues, if they're really, really ugly, we, we wouldn't want to release Sakai looking ugly, right? So mm -hmm. there's a little bit of a judgment call on some of those things, I think. Well, I was, so let me ask, I mean, okay, so this is a, another question, and this is all part of me understanding a, li a little bit more about where Morpheus is. So, like, is it that for Sakai 11, that will, um, that Morpheus will be released using our own styles, and then the bootstrap styles will be migration. Uh, are we going to be migrating to bootstrap styles in the future? Is that like after? 
Uday? Is that? Um, I mean, we could do both ways, I, uh, but I think for now, what we decided is, I mean, at least that's what my understanding is basically to start using Bootstrap specific uh, CSS extended into uh, Morpheus for tool specific uh, thing, not for oh, the overall okay. portal. Uh, but uh -huh. definitely, that's the actual plan to actually make use of Bootstrap as much as we can, um, so that we don't need to do a redundant uh, work inside the Mor Morpheus. And Morpheus right. is basically having namespaces for Sakai specific uh, uh, theming, uh, and then right. we extend any other framework, Bootstrap, anything, anything anyone wanted to. So that's right. the idea. I mean, we should be going forward. Okay. Yeah, but for now, I think uh, for this upcoming, uh, whatever we plan is basically specific for the tools. So whatever we extend from Bootstrap is tool specific. I mean, we could also make it if we have some time to actually for the overall um, Morpheus layer thing. But, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I think, to be honest, I think that there's more mm, styling done in the tools than there is really, I mean, not that the portal doesn't have styling, but I mean, obviously it does, but I'm just saying, I think that there's more like, you know, tool specific styling, you know, um, that would benefit from like uh, that. I mean, I think the portal is, because you know, the portal styling is all in one, one location. It's like one tool basically, right? So, and then like the other one is like all the different tools and getting them all to do use the the right styles is important yep okay um so i guess for now um we'll leave this one as a major but like i said something to keep in mind is that kind of the criteria is blocker means we don't want to release the kai without it and while there might be a lot of little kind of formatting issues of we also don't want to release something that looks unprofessional so there's going to be kind of a, a little bit of a judgment call on on some of these things you know yeah. i would i would link this last year to that to that one that you opened too yeah um, yeah i just did it yeah okay okay cool thanks all right next one is uh, file picker helper needs updating for morpheus sak 29255 Is this just an admin tool thing, or is this a general thing for the file picker, like everywhere? Mm. And it, that needs to be looked at. I think it's <laughs> yeah, it would be everywhere. Um, but tutorial is using this uh, because we see it today. I'm gonna log in. Um, yeah. It, this one is still the old uh, jQuery one, so. I mean, it's marked as minor, but uh, I think it's linked to another Zira, which, which is 29166. Um, tutorial needs updating for Morpheus. Um, Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's another promise. thing. Yep. For sure. So the 29166 is, is uh, related to the 29255 file, file picker issue? No, it's just the similar no, thing. Oh, okay. And should this be a blocker? This looks like it would be a block. Well, if it's only the admin, I wouldn't worry about it. But if it's something users might say, yeah, uh, I think it is also this. Um, is it? The, I think it, it will be option when they go to tutorial, right? 
They will be having yeah, it's, it's whether or not you're you're using the tutorial option or not, right? Because that that yeah. option decides whether or not the tutorial displays. And yeah, if the yeah. tutorial displays, it displays like that, and it's not Morpheus. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, the tutorial is on by default out of the box, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. So then it should be done. So then it means this needs to be. So somehow this file picker one is related to the tutorial. I don't understand that connection, but. Um, it sounds I like don't... a blocker. I don't, why is it related to the file pick? I mean, it's a similar, unless they use the same CSS. Yeah, I don't know if they are using That's it. the only way I could see that they would be related, Neil. Yeah. Okay, so there, that's a whole, so we're talking about two different things then, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So is the file picker helper, the SIK29255, is that, is that a blocker? So what, which one is that, SIK? SIK29255. Five. I'm sorry, am I saying it right? Maybe I'm saying it wrong. It is. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I see that. Um, but let's see. I, would be resolved with the resources. Uh, just a second, I'm just verifying that it still exists. Okay. So this one is opened in April, so could be that. Oh, uh, so it could be one of right one of the that might be it might be fixed. We might need to retest it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's kind of, uh, yeah, I think it's fixed. Yeah, probably it should retest it, yeah. Okay. All right, I put a comment on it and I'll open it. Okay. Um, the next one is extending bootstrap layout and styles into Morpheus, which was open just five minutes ago. <laughs> so, um, all right, is that a blocker though? I mean, that would be like, a, wouldn't that be one that we would, uh, that's that's required for 11, right? And for tools? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm gonna make that a blocker. Yep. All right, the next one is uh, adjust positioning of password string message on new account page. Oh, we already covered this one. We didn't put a comment on it. SAK29, somehow it put me back here, SAK29. Six four nine. This is where I am seeing, which we did just dis discuss a second ago. So, but there's no. We didn't put a comment on it or change the priority or anything. So, um, and that's from July. Yeah, you should just link it. We just we link. We need to link it though to that one. I think that's what we said we would do. Or is this like? Or is this? Or is this like a duplicate? No, it's not a duplicate. Oh, uh, it's we not a duplicate. It. It's, it's entirely new tool, I think, new account page tools. Yeah, it's. We just link it to that other one. What? Which one do we need to link it to? What's the, the one they just ID? opened? Okay. <clears throat> the one that Uday just opened. Okay. I, I don't know what number it is. SAK29801. All right, I'll add that link. Right. Okay, got that link in there. Um, let's see, I'll open this one up. Wow. Well, I'll put a comment on it. Okay. Um, next one is, um, oh, that's a tutorial one. So we had some discussion on that. That looks like that was already updated. Okay, cool. So Sean updated that. 
This is tutorial needs updating for Morpheus. And so I think we just discussed this one as well. Do we need to, I guess we should open this one. It shouldn't be a waiting review, right? And what's the priority yeah. level one? Is this, this would be a blocker, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's see. Almost done. Almost done. We're at the home stretch here. Uh, next one is SAK29736. Um, tabs limited to four sites and no more sites but in visible. Oh, so that's probably one that's fixed by now, right? That was opened. Oh, no, that's July. Okay, so it could be a new one. That could be a bug. That would be a blocker if that's true. Um, yeah, but I don't know. I think it, they're pointing to the wrong position because um, we made a change in the recent uh, update. Or Chuck made a change where the preferences come from the active or inactive sites, right? Right. Yep. Uh, this one is just the. I don't think this is a play page we should be looking at, right? Uh, from the tutorial, that's what I look at. Um, sorry, from the screenshot. I'm not sure I understand your comment. Um, probably we should review it because I, I from this thing we it's not clear because uh, it, the sites list is doesn't mean that it, this is an active site, right? It could be an inactive site. Um, that's that's inside the preferences. By... Hmm. Okay, so this one needs to be like basically we need to verify this is a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Verify it because uh, yeah, since check change the the preferences to be only two uh, type of courses, active right. or inactive. Um, yeah, we should check that and see if that's. Could you put a comment on this one um, of how it should behave? Yeah. I'll... Okay. Cool. I think, yeah, one of the things I found is helpful is uh, and sometimes we don't always do when we're reviewing tickets is to put some sort of comment on them because otherwise we sometimes forget that we had reviewed them or what we were thinking. So it's nice to put a little comment on each one. Um, the next one is, yeah, SAK269, I'm sorry, 29639. Um, need better styles for disabled input elements. Yeah, I think we should add this. Add it. Okay, so we can just open this. Make it major. Make it major? Okay, I'll make this a major and we'll open the ticket. Any comment you want to put on? It just sounds like you agree that that's a good thing to do. Um, I think just review it. If it's not, we have to make it uh, a different color. Um, but I'm not sure if it is. Well, I've opened it and I've set it to, uh, yeah, I've opened it and set it to major. So if you want to, anyone wants to make a comment on it, that'd be fine. That there. Um, the next one is SAK29316. Position of undo changes in lessons permission. Why isn't this a lessons issue then? Hmm. Oh, this is old, old, old. <laughs> Very old. old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so ask to retest because you think we might this one might be fixed. Yeah. Okay. OK. 
Okay. All right, just two more to go. Um, SIK 29337 is uh, distance between folders while selecting content from resources. Uh, I think that's fixed. Okay. Uh, need retesting. All right. Cool. And the final one, tutorial look and feel. This is a duplicate. Tutorial look and feel needs to be fixed for Mor Morpheus. Wasn't there another one on the tutorial? Yep, yep. yep. Oh, it says duplicate of SAK29166. Yeah, I see that. So I'm going to close this one as duplicate because it's not really adding any more information. So just go ahead and close this one. Resolve uh, duplicate. Two nine one six six. Resolve. Get. Okay. Let's duplicate. Cool. All right. So that that covers all the uh, currently open tickets. Um, so I guess we just have a couple more minutes, and I guess uh, that's the issue I saw earlier. Two nine three three seven. Two nine three three seven. Okay. See that comment. Distance between folders while selecting content needs retesting. So, Sean, when you say that you saw it earlier, does that mean it's still an issue? Two nine two five five. Okay. Say two nine two five five. File picker helper needs updating for Morpheus. Oh, so Sean was also saying it's that's still an issue. Okay. All right. So we still have a few that even mm -hmm. that, that are still issues, even though they um, you know are out there a little bit old. Okay, thanks for that uh, update. So we just have a couple minutes uh, left, um, and just curious if anyone has um, thoughts on QA testing. You know, um, so any ideas about timing of QA uh, and where we should focus our testing would be, you know, appreciated. So I, so my. Uh basically going all through the tickets. It's mostly looked like it's mostly tool specific issues we had on I think okay. uh, overall, um, except for the, um, the tutorial and the other stuff, but uh, um, which are not, but yeah, it's a lot of them are tool specific. So uh, I think once we have this fixed, uh, I have the layout. Yeah. So does that mean if they're tool specific that we really need to wait for that documentation and start getting work done so people can use kind of the uh, bootstrap um, classes for their tools before we really do major testing uh, in those areas? Um, we could. Uh, I mean, at, at, as I said, there are multiple ways. We can directly start fixing this using the default Morpheus. Uh -huh. um, and then parallel work on that so that they could shift over to uh, the, to this Morpheus-based CSS slowly. Um, so I think that's the best option because uh, until if we wait till this is done, it could be a longer waiting period. Mm. Um, so it's better we start working parallelly on these things. Um, so that decision to move every tool to the Morpheus or the Bootstrap based Morpheus, we can. Uh, can be done later period. Slowly. Okay. 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 So more we're looking for major um, issues right now with the tools and getting those fixed, not necessarily doing a complete move. So that indicates yep. 
could start testing tools earlier, notwithstanding we still have gradebook to merge in and lessons is um, getting some additional functionality. So, um, okay. Yep. Okay, that gives me something to think about. Any other any other comments? Yeah, you know, it's it's worth noting about that, Neil, that until I mean, I don't know that's gonna happen for eleven, but you know, until we move to those uh uh bootstrap styles, right? Um, you know, the tools are still gonna look sometimes they may I mean yep. we can do some styling things to ease things right now to make things look okay and things like that without using the bootstrap stuff, right? Styles, right? Which I think that's mostly what's been happening, right? Mm -hmm. Up to this point is that the tools still contain their old stuff. So Sakai has this already existing style, right? In the tools, right? Uh, I think a lot of it's controlled through tool base, right? So um, that those styling tech like for example if you notice this guy all the buttons are the same color that's like you know those are the styling things that are you know pre morpheus that are still there and you know and most tools look you know look and are in styled in that way right when you start to move to the bootstrap thing you're gonna you know that's really when you start to say oh okay we're gonna replace those uh um Sakai, existing Sakai styles with um, ones that are more bootstrapped uh, ready. And once you start doing that, the responsiveness of the um, of like the uh, tool UI is going to be much better, right? Because bootstrap, you know, you know, that's, you know, when you're using the bootstrap styles, you're going to get the responsiveness of those styles, you know, um, you know, like when you put them on a mobile device or whatever, or something like that. So it's really important to go to those, right? But I, what, and here's maybe my biggest maybe question slash comment about this is, I don't know if those styles are gonna be, you know, 11, you know, is that, is that, and, and maybe maybe you can comment today. I mean, is that is that something they wanna do for 11? Or is it that they just wanna keep the existing Sakai style fix up where it's just fix up those styles where it just doesn't look so great. And mm -hmm. then, and then like after 11, maybe some version after 11, you know, the bootstrap styles will take over. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what uh, I understood so far is basically fix everything for now and then define the standards for the tools specific uh, CSS. Uh, so right. that if anyone can do it before 11 release, they, they could, but, I don't right. think anyone will be putting time on that within this close to the release. Uh, but yeah, we, what we want to provide is an option so that they could still do that by uh, as, as soon as possible. Yeah. Right. So okay. That's exactly right. Yeah. So, you know, and so Neil, what that means, let me just say this to Neil because I know it's good to, to Neil. Um, it's good that everyone, you know, I'm, I want to, you know, it's good that everybody hears it. But so what that means is, is like from a tool perspective, uh, the the uh, responsiveness is is going to be, um, let's say, minimal, you know, mm -hmm. for the tools right now. Is that, yeah. you know, Neil, do you get that now? Yeah, or, I get it. You know, but I mean. Just to give an example, Neil, basically uh, some of the tools uses tables, structure till, uh, and the table structure is not responsive, I would say, completely. Uh, if, so if you want to make it bootstrap responsive kind of thing, we should move slowly up, the, up from the table structure. Um, right. So it, it has a whole lot of work at, at, at beyond the CSS, so they have to right. rewrite their own structure and everything. So if we define them, this is how, what the standard practice for the tools, then they could start working off based off that. that. That would be a static point. Right, right. And if by some luck, if we have a lot of energy in the community and, and developers who have time to work on that, then we might get it in for 11, but we can't count on that. And we're not gonna hold up 11 trying no. to say, well, we gotta get all the tools 
uh, mm -hmm. using those standards. We'll just say the standards are there and here's our dates. And then hopefully, you know, a number of tools will get converted by that date. But if not, we'll just be planning. Well, I don't even think 12. you'll do that, Neil. I don't think you'll even convert some tools because once you do that, um, I mean, maybe like what Uday was talking about, like the tables and things, maybe that work could be done. But I don't, I don't think you'll convert the style because you don't want one tool looking one way and another tool looking a different way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You don't want them to drastically be different, right? Remember, not too long ago, Chuck um, Severance. This is, you know, he kind of he caught out he kind of you know posted out there and said, "What is going on here?" You know, and this was the whole leap thing, right? right. And he's like, "This is so." disjointed from like what Sakai's standards look like. Why, you know, why is lessons so different now? You know, it doesn't even look like part of Sakai, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's what would happen in theory that, you know, that's, you could end up with something like that. If you started having a tool um, do, you know, use the bootstrap styles and other tools not use it, you know, right. Don't get me wrong. Some styles are more invasive than others as far as visual goes. Um, I, and I'll even uh, go out and say um, initially when I did the message bundle manager tool, I did use all bootstrap styles. The entire app was all bootstrapped, right? And then I actually had to unbootstrap it because once later on, I, I, you know, I was like, yeah, this just, just this looks so different. Mm -hmm. you know? So I had to unbootstrap it um in many ways um and then you know and you know and just use the default sakai styling right you know, because it looks so different you know and right so that's what so it's a good question for for uh i don't know if anyone knows the answer so at one point we had discussed with the express labs folks who did the styling for um, the lessons in the Elite project that they were going to contribute styles that could be put in Morpheus that you know that over time awesome. choose to use, but I don't know if that happened. Right. Well, that would be awesome. You know, getting, you know, get. I mean, someone's going to have to like, you know, I mean, this, you know, some of all this is, you know, all involved with the extending, you know, having Morpheus create, um, you know, it's sick, like. And it's already done a lot of that, right? It's got the Sky name, so it's got all the things like what Uday was saying that's in there. But what needs to happen now is is that there needs to be where this stuff is mapped to like the bootstrap styles, right? And then once that happens, then like the whole thing's gonna change, right? Right, right. And so. and that's and that's really, you know, that's what needs, you know, I think the most and Uday's right. It's not going to be just CSS. There's going to be, you know, there's going to be, you know, some work that has to be done in the tools too. Right. Updating the HTML so that it can take advantage of the CSS. Right. Exactly. So, right. So because my question still stands. Are, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, my question still stands. I mean, because I thought that was happening where the Express Labs were contributing that um, those styles, like we didn't have to use them, but they would be in there. Is that not happening? Did that not happen? I'm, I'm you know, that was perplexing to yeah, me. Was, that I don't know. Yeah, I right. have no clue. Does anybody know? No, I don't know. Nobody knows? Maybe they're using it in the lessons enhancement slide, but I don't know this point. Hmm. All right, so that's a question I still have. It's kind of bugging me because it would be nice to get their contribution, and then we could either choose to use it or not. I hope that right. ship hasn't sailed, right? I mean, if it, if it's still possible to get their contribution and put that in the CSS and our central Morphean CSS, and then then as a community we can decide and go, yeah, that's that's a great way to do it. Once we do that, you know, make an effort for that conversion. So. Um, I guess uh, I'll bring that question up several more times and hopefully get, get an answer because, uh, uh, you know, it would be nice. Um, and then it sounds like maybe Sakai 12 is making the tools responsive. So maybe Sakai 11 is our first major foray into responsive, uh, a responsive design. And then maybe Sakai 12, our main focus is getting all, you know, having a new look and feel and, and uh, you know, moving all the tools over to responsive. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah, I, I agree with you. I think it, it, it I think it's a, it's going to be like that two-step process there. I think 
Sakai 11 is the the base Morpheus, you know, get everything, you know, which was a lot. I mean, I don't want to take anything away from that because that was a lot of work. That was a lot to do. Um, you know, you got to remember now, it seems so long ago, but go back to the portal, you know, being eye frameless and, you know, and inlining and all that happening, right? You know, all that stuff had to happen, you know? And, you know, none of that's real is going to be used until really, um, you know, until 11. So, um, you know, and having, you know, Morpheus in there, you know, that's like our initial, you know, go on that. But I agree. I think 12 is going to be more of, you know, hey, okay, now we've got Morpheus in there. Now we need to create, um, you know, we need to extend and create different styles, you know, uh, of which I would say, you know, people can create their own styles, right? I mean, they can go create their own, but, we, you know, we would create like a, extend the default bootstrap styles and maybe come out with like a default bootstrapping looking Sakai, right? You know, that would be one, you know, one way to start. Say, look, I'm not going to, you know, we're not going to go, you know, we're going to create one style, you know, we have one style that's just, you know, using just generic bootstrap, right? styles and um and then the sakai ones map to those right but then that means that you could say okay anybody else that wants to create a custom one would you know here it creates the map for them to do that right so that they can say oh okay yeah i want to i want to create my own uh you know styles and okay well here's how you would do that you know mm -hmm. they would just look at the boot the default bootstrap one and they would see how to do that you know and then, and then I think, and this is going to bleed into like what, you know, what I think Dr. Chuck has been talking about lately. And, you know, this is going to bleed into having a really, you know, cool UI in the future where, you know, where all these things kind of come together and they happen, you know, and, and I, and I honestly feel, you know, uh, you know, that's probably like a Sakai 12 thing. I mean, I don't know, maybe somebody will pick it up and go with it. It'd be great if that happened, but. I don't know. I just I haven't heard of anything yet. Okay. All right. Well, I noticed we're a little bit after twelve, and uh, so I want to be respectful. We know this uh, roughly. We wanted this meeting to be about an hour, so I don't know if there's any other uh, things that folks feel like need immediate attention or discussion. So just see if if there is. Otherwise, I would um, suggest we adjourn for today. Um. Yeah. I don't have anything now. Okay. Going once. Going twice. All right. Thanks, everyone. I'm going to stop the recording and uh, take care. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Neil. Thanks, all.